Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici with the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today, oh my goodness, I have a beautiful holiday card. I know it seems sometimes like maybe it's too early to be thinking about the holidays, but I tell you what, if you start now, you will not be scrambling at the last minute to get your holiday cards made. You'll actually enjoy making them and you'll enjoy writing them to everyone and sending them out. So why not get started sooner than later with an awesome card like this? So I have to show you, it's got a fun fold on the card, if you can see, and I'll, I'll tell you how to do that. It's actually really, really simple. Um, but yeah, let me, I wanna start out by showing you the products that we're using on this card. Of course, they are using a fabulous suite of products from, this is our Stampin' Up! Holiday Catalog, right? The 2018 Holiday Catalog. So this is the Joyous Noel suite of products. So you can see it is just a beautiful, deep, rich, sweet in terms of colors. The stamp set that we are using is called Peaceful Noel. We use that sentiment that says right there, may your Christmas be holly, jolly, and bright. And then there's another one that says, fill the season with happiness, Noel, and Merry Little Christmas, along with a bunch of other images that you can kind of layer. They've got a couple of two and three step stamping techniques that you can use. And then here is the gorgeous, the joyous Noel specialty designer series paper. You guys have to check out this paper if you have not seen it yet. It has a beautiful foil kind of accents on one side of each of the um, designs of paper. And then, oh my gosh, the Joyous Noel Glimmer Paper. We are not using that today. I actually opted to use um, some copper foil paper on this project, but we did use that beautiful, the Mary Merlot and Copper. It's a reversible ribbon. Beautiful. I'll show you that ribbon in a sec. And then we also use the Coordinating Punch, the Sprig punch that's in this suite. So just a fabulous suite of products. Like I said, I love the new colors in here too. Mary Merlot is kind of that deep, rich, kind of burgundy color that you can see on a lot of those projects. So that's the color that we actually use as our card base for our card. So let's go ahead and get started. I will give you dimensions. Let me do that first because I sometimes forget that and I'm always afraid that I'm going to. So let's start with our, I'm gonna scoot these guys out of the way. So we have our card base, if you can see. So here is our piece of Mary Merlot cardstock that measures our eight and a half by 11. So this time we cut it in half along the eight and a half inch side. Can you guys see that? At four and a quarter inches, right? My cards are all, they're being funny with me this morning. So, okay, so cut it in half at four and a quarter inches, right? And then we always do that traditional scoring in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then we did an additional score mark, I'll show you, along at the two and three quarter inch mark. So two and three quarter and five and a half inches. This is kind of upside down. Now I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna show you. So we are going to fold it like a traditional card and then this flap gets folded back like that, right? Then we have our beautiful piece of that Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series paper. So if you can see in the right light, you see kind of that the um, foil accents on the leaves there too, with just a, um, a few berries in that Mary Merlot color. So this piece is gonna fit right on here, and this one measures two and a half inches by four inches, okay? So that's gonna layer on there. And then the other pieces in terms of um, exact dimensions, we've got a piece of Smoky Slate cardstock and a piece of Mary Merlot cardstock. This uh, Mary Merlot cardstock measures three inches by four inches. And then this one is just graduated in a quarter of an inch. So this one measures two and three quarter by three and three quarter inches. So those are gonna layer right on there like that. And that's gonna go on there. Let's go ahead and do our stamping. These are all just kind of scrap pieces of paper that we are gonna use to do our stamping and die cutting. So I'm gonna move these guys out of the way so I don't get them mixed up. And let's see, well, you know what? We might as well just do our punches right here. So this is some of the copper foil. You can see that beautiful shimmer, right? So I just need one sprig piece, whoops, and it went flying off my table. Okay, hold on, let me grab it. So here is one of those sprig pieces. So you can see, they. and I'm looking at them like, they kind of look like antlers on a reindeer too, don't they? So that would be another fun use for this punch. And then I want two, 
of these, this is Tranquil Tide cardstock. I was trying to make that not pop off my table again. So I want two sprigs in our Tranquil Tide cardstock, okay? So I'm gonna scoot those over here so I don't lose them. Then we are gonna do our stamping in our Mary Merlot ink right on, um, it's funny because I usually stamp right on either Whisper White or Very Vanilla cardstock, but this one is uh, light enough. Um, you know what, I'm wondering if I've been calling this by the wrong name. Uh, maybe I didn't even say, I don't know. But this is actually Sahara Sand cardstock. I'm gonna do a quick double check because there are a bunch of kind of very neutral colors. So sorry, that might have gotten blurry for a sec. So colors that coordinate with this um, Joyous Noel Specialty Designer Series paper, the Copper Foil, Gray Granite, Mary Merlot, Sahara Sand, Soft Suede, Tranquil Tide, and Whisper White. So I actually used Sahara Sand. I don't know, I may have been referencing Gray Granite, but this piece right here is Sahara Sand that's gonna layer right on there. And then this circle is also in Sahara Sand. I felt when I was looking at my cardstock that this Sahara Sand kind of matched this particular piece of designer series paper a little bit better rather than the gray granite. So just so you know, some of them I think um, are a little bit more gray and some of them are a little bit more tan, I guess. Um, so there you go. There's our May Your Christmas Be Holly, Jolly and Bright. I like that sentiment a lot. And our Mary Merlot ink. So that's the only stamping we need to do on this project today. Now I've already got myself, I'm worried. Okay, we're good. Okay, so these pieces we're going to just do our die cutting with. So I'm going to grab my Big Shot. I've got my magnetic platform here. I'm going to pop this right over here. And with our layering circle framelits, I think I say this every time, but man, if you guys do not have the layering circle framelits yet, you need to get them. I use them all the time. So, oops, these kind of got all swished around here. So I'm going to try to show you guys which sizes. There we go. Okay, so for the straight edge, I used, what's going to be the easier way? So one, two, three, four. This is the fifth smallest straight edge circle okay and then this one fits right in here so one two three four let me think right one two three four five actually this is the sixth smallest scallop edge circle or you could say it's the one two it's the third largest also okay just for sizing on there all right so we're gonna that one just goes right on our piece of Mary Merlot cardstock this one we need to line up a little bit so that it looks good, right, in the middle of our circle. I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, and then my paper and my framelits, and then my other clear cutting pad on top. Crank those right through there, right? These just pop out nicely, easily, most beautifully, right? And then this guy here as well. Okay, I'm just scooting all that right out of our way. Now we can go ahead and put it together. So you can see this is, uh, you know, I tend to do things fairly simply, right? Um, especially, you know, a lot of times I'm making multiples of things. So nothing is too complicated around here in my stamp studio these days. But that's the beauty, right, of all of these products. They all coordinate so well together. The sweets make it super easy to make these cute, coordinating projects without much effort, right? Um, we're gonna adhere this piece right on, no, we're not yet, actually, we are gonna, oh, I gotta show you guys this ribbon. This is that Mary Merlot and Copper Reversible Ribbon. Can you guys see in the right light? My lighting is not very good today either, I apologize. We have cloudy day today here and I knew I needed to get this video, there we go. But so there's the Mary Merlot and then there's the Copper, so reversible. But can you see? Oh, it is beautiful. This is a ribbon that I think you almost have to get to really understand how beautiful it is because it's a little bit hard to tell in the catalog. I think it's a little bit hard to tell on this video, but I promise you, you will love this ribbon if you get it. So we are just going to run this piece, just a strip of it right along there. We're going to flip this over. I'm going to add a bunch of adhesive. I want to make sure that my ribbon stays in place. And I always like to adhere it on one side and then flip it over, make sure it's straight so I'm not going something like that, right? And then flip this over on the other side. I wanna push really, give a lot of force, I guess I'll say, to make sure 
that ribbon is adhered well and then we're gonna put this piece right on, oops, that did not work, it jumped as soon as I went to press it down, but that's the nice thing about our snail adhesive, right, is that if you don't press too hard, you're okay. Then, let's see, what are we gonna do? Why don't we, we'll put, oh, do you like this? This is really pretty too, the kind of stripe um, detail on the back of that page. Oh, I love that, the copper foil on there too. Let's see, I wanna see those berries. This particular piece doesn't have too many berries on it, so I popped that around so I could see them right on the front top part there. Next, we can, so you the one thing you need to do is make sure you only put adhesive on this side, because if you put it over here, it's gonna stick down to your card, and you obviously don't wanna do that. So figure out about where you want it on here, and then just kind of flip it over so you don't kind of go past that line. But you want to use a good amount of adhesive to make sure this piece stays where you want it, right? And my little trick, if you put this down and you have a little bit of adhesive peeking out, I do not, but if you did, you could just use your finger and kind of rub that off or use our adhesive remover. Okay, so this is gonna go right about there, right? So we just need to peel the back off of our dimensionals. I have no fingernails left, so this is not a quick process for me <laughs> these days to get these um, little backings off. There we go. Okay, I did it though. All right, so we're gonna put that little baby right about there, and then I'm gonna grab my silicone craft sheet. With these little bits, I think it's easier to put these kind of upside down right on here. And then I'm gonna add some adhesive just kind of to the bottom of them. And working on this allows it so that it, um, the extra adhesive doesn't stick to my work paper. So I love, this is like a handy little, just kind of a simple little tool. And these I'm just gonna pop kind of right back in there. We're gonna do that one there. We're gonna put that one maybe down there, and then we're gonna put our other copper sprig kind of right in there. So we just kind of layered those around. I'm just pressing down. I'm gonna keep that popped up a little bit. And that is it. So you see how simple, but simple, beautiful, right? Uh, things do not have to be too complicated to be gorgeous. Um, oh my gosh, that lighting is not very good today. I apologize, guys. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help that, but you will love, I promise, if you get these products, you will love them. They are just beautiful. So I will have all the details to everything you need to make this project in the details of the YouTube video, right? So at the bottom below this YouTube video, make sure you check out those details. You can also hit that subscribe button to make sure you are always informed on any new videos that I'm making, right? Um, what else do we have going on? Oh, Facebook Live videos. I do those every Friday at our Gathering Inspiration, Ink with a K, right? Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook group. If you are not already a member of that Facebook group, come on over and ask to become, just ask to join to become a member. Then you will get lots of ideas and tips and inspiration from our Facebook group. You will also see those Facebook Live videos that I do every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. The other really cool thing that I'm doing on Facebook Live videos, there are lots of good giveaways. If you comment and share on the Facebook Live videos, you get your name entered into a drawing. I do demonstrations, so if you put at least a $30 order in, use the host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. When you shop online, if you use the host code, spend at least $30, you always get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live. And there's another even better giveaway that I do when you put an order in, your name goes in the drawing each week for that other giveaway that I do on Facebook Live videos. So check that out. It'll make way more sense if you watch a video. Um, but anyway, there's just lots of good stuff happening at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. Here's the link to shop online anytime at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. So I hope you all enjoyed this card. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great day and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.